seen play before apart from uh, the Parapan games. That is how both teams' first games went yesterday. Both losses in their opening exchanges. Both need a win here today to set their Rio 2016 campaigns alight. There are the standings so far. Brazil topping the pool after winning. Canada beat Great Britain to go on to two points. And Great Britain and Argentina sit third and fourth. Germany yet to play here at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. The gold medalist from London lay in wait for the rest of the pool to ignite their Rio Games. Can Germany go back to back in Paralympic Games at 2012 and 2016? We wait and we see, but they're definitely amongst the favourites of the top three that would include the USA and Holland as well. That's Robin Love, the Scottish uh, player for Great Britain, number 15. She comes from Air up in Scotland. The Argentinians, as I say, relative unknowns. That's number 12, Polares and Mariana Perez. Out comes the number four, Charlotte Moore. One pointer for Great Britain. She originates from Coventry in the Midlands of Great Britain. One of the co-captains there, Sophie Carrigal, another one-pointer. That's Jude Hamer. She's had limited game time recently for Great Britain. Number seven going through shot, Helen Freeman. Jordana Bartlett, Geordie Bartlett, as she's known. The number 13 will be looking to make an impact. The 21-year-old, there's Love again, whose shooting has been consistent in the last year or so. The Angels of the North player. Who relocated all the way from Scotland down to the southwest of England. An area called Worcester. And the coach is Miles Thompson, who re relocated from the USA. The coach formerly connected to the USA women's team, was involved with them in London 2012. USA women will be looking to go for the medals here in Rio. And here come the Argentinians. That's Castaldi, the number four. She originates from Santa Fe. 50 year old Cabrera is the number five number six is Chirinos who originates from Buenos Aires in Argentina seven will be Salcedo a one pointer eight is Coronel Linari where's the number nine ten is Captavia number nine is the one to look out for so I'm told the four point player eleven Olmedo twelve Polares thirteen is Berenice Perez fourteen Adriana Beatrice Mochura and the number 15, Florencia Cabanet. Ladies and gentlemen, the great we'll now have the national anthems of both teams.
The Paralympics comes to South America and one of the neighboring countries of Brazil, Argentina, strongly supported here in Rio de Janeiro. The two teams will now shake hands and wish each other well. There's the coach of the Argentinian team, Carlos Cardarelli and Mars Thompson of Great Britain just wishing each other the best of luck. Well, form in world terms would suggest this should be a comfortable win for Great Britain. Argentina fourth at the Parapan Games 2015 up in Toronto in Canada. That would suggest that sort of form shouldn't be a threat to Great Britain, but we'll wait to see. Those are, that's the team list for Argentina. Castaldi, the number four, is a forward. Salcedo, also the number five, and Chirinos, the number six. I want to look out for Silvia Linari. Apparently, she is their standout player. Uh, who, born and raised in Santa Fe. There's Carlos Cardarelli. He'll be hoping to enjoy the exposure for his team and learn a lot about them and learn about the world game at the highest level. It's a team that haven't really got any major championship form, any real exposure at this kind of level of wheelchair basketball. But that is what the Paralympic Games is all about, spreading the global game of wheelchair basketball, of any sport in the Paralympic movement, of growing the game worldwide, growing the knowledge base, attracting new players and inspiring. There's the Great Britain lineup, a young lineup, a very young lineup. Moore and Carrigal, both starlets in the team. Claire Griffiths, number six, the oldest player in this team by 10 years. She's 36 years of age. It's her fifth Paralympic Games. Seven just after her on the team list was Helen Freeman. She is one of the stars of the world game. And Miles Thompson, supported by his assistant, another American, Dan Price, who has a very high reputation in the global game as a former coach in American collegiate wheelchair basketball. Williams, the number eight in shot there, played at Alabama until recently. A number of these Great Britain girls have graced the collegiate stage in the USA, including Freeman. The Argentinians, there's their starting lineup. So we go with five Salcedo, eight Coronel, nine Silvia Linario, as I said, look out for her. 12 Maria Palares and 13 Mariana Perez. Perez who's a one-point player. She's turned 26 years of age just six days ago. And there's the Great Britain lineup. Griffiths, Freeman, Williams, Hazelden and Love. Hazelden is a very, very young player indeed, but plays with an old head on her shoulders. She was MVP of the 2015 All-Star Game in Great Britain. She played for the West team against the East team. Great Britain have a very strong women's league. And Hazelden shone in 2015 to be voted the MVP. She's the youngster of this starting five. She's got a lot of experience alongside her. Williams, Freeman and Griffiths, all with Paralympic experience under their belts. Robin Love playing in her first game. And there is Griffiths, five-time Paralympian. There's the result against Canada yesterday. To be brutally honest, it was terrible from Great Britain. 36-43, not what they expected against the Canadians. Hazelden in under the basket, doesn't go for two, the whistle does. The game for Great Britain against the Canadians was not what they were looking for to start their campaign. Hazelden, though, will go to the line shooting two. after just three seconds of this encounter against Argentina. She misses the first. She misses the second. It's picked off by Pilares and moved on to Lenari, the ball handler who studied at Republica del Peru 340. Started her, four, uh, her sport of wheelchair basketball at 34 years of age. And that does often happen in Paralympic sport. With, obviously, occasionally accidents leading people into the sport or incidents of such manner players can come to their sports later in life. And 
can thrive through ages which Olympic athletes would be considering only for retirement. Freeman, number seven for Great Britain, often acts as ball carrier, acts best when she's ahead of the plate, and Great Britain need to learn that as they will go up against the tougher teams as they did yesterday against Canada. Freeman held on to the ball a lot, Great Britain didn't act in the best manner, but she's underway with her shooting, and she gets two points off the glass, and well played Helen Freeman to start the play. We saw her there ahead of the game, it gave Britain a better structure, it caused Argentina. Argentina more problems and Freeman nice relaxed gets the shot 28% across the board yesterday for Great Britain against Canada that really is not the standard they set themselves Hazelden Williams joins the play today it's Hazelden doing the ball carrying this good to see from Great Britain finds Freeman off it goes left-handed shot off the glass for two this is what Great Britain need, they need a nerve settler. They need lots of shots, they need lots of successful baskets. They're putting the full press on Argentina now. Going for the jugular early. Now Argentina have to get the ball over the halfway line inside eight seconds. Still by Hazelden. Williams up with her, cross it goes to Williams, off the glass. Doesn't go that time. Hits number 12, Polares, the centre, four-point player, 24 years of age can't hold on and Great Britain will start with the rebound with the inbound ball from the Argentina baseline this Great Britain team finished fifth at the World Championships in Toronto Griffiths doesn't get the first shot of her game against Argentina Hazelden collects the rebound shoots her set no she doesn't she dinks it into Robin Love who wasn't expecting it and neither was I I thought there was a simpler shot on from Hazelden Again, the press put on by Great Britain, trying to stop Argentina from getting out. And there you see eight fingers held up by the referee. That means an eight-second violation. The Argentinians have to get the ball over the Great Britain or into the Great Britain half within eight seconds. Otherwise, they turn possession over. Great Britain will go for the jugular early here and dominate proceedings if they can. Argentina have their work cut out today. Freeman, pressure put on by... The number 12, Polares. Joy rejected on that occasion. Polares with the rebound. And that time they managed to get the ball over the halfway line. Argentina, Lenari turns out. Looks to go around Salcedo. Good defence this from Great Britain, keeping a high line on the Argentinians, stopping them from getting anywhere inside and reducing them to speculative one-arm shots from Lenari, who's fuming. It's 4-0 the score. 7.05 gone. Sorry, 7.05 to go in the first. Forward comes Robin Love once more. 26 years of age. Freeman to Love into Freeman who's in the paint she's only allowed in there for three seconds the whistle goes the basket's good by the referee's signal as he points two fingers from high to low on the floor it's 6-0 and it means Freeman will go to the line shooting again a very good start this from Great Britain six early points for Freeman can she make it seven and nothing can't on that occasion but she can get the rebound and Great Britain might go even further into the lead Freeman turns lines up the shot instead swings it across to the new player on court Leah Evans two and a half point player from Castleford in the north of England county called Yorkshire Laurie Williams former Alabama student in the USA. Freeman with the basket for two. The referee gives the point. The referees today, Philip Haynes is the referee. Mulatin Jelenic and Ruseki Kano are the umpires. And the supporters en masse here from Great Britain. Freeman to make it 9-0, does so. And this, a strong 
and positive start from the British girls. Argentina nil, Great Britain nine. Nanari. That time, Argentina managed to get the ball over the halfway line. Salcedo. Limited support. Look at how Great Britain are manipulating the Argentinian offence. Polares. Linari and her in mid-court. Griffiths does the chasing. Freeman as well joins in the defence. The one-arm speculative shot. And again, nothing there from Argentina. They just can't break down this Great Britain defence at the moment. And Evans is the player to come away with the ball for the team in red. Great Britain. Argentina in the white and blue. Love to Evans. Evans goes for the shot herself and sinks the two. And this really is a good start from Great Britain. Spoke about a nerve settler. Miles Thompson will have talked to his team about getting shots away, making them successful and calming themselves down for the rest of the competition. The Argentinians get the ball over halfway. Perez on the ball, the number 13, the one-point player, 26 years of age. Yet to score a basket, Perez. Argentina yet to score a basket today. Freeman, Evans, Evans off the glass, misses everything, but Love picks up the rebound. The clock shot, the shot clock didn't reset because it missed the rim. But Robin Love had enough time to get the shot away once more, and Great Britain have a 13-0 lead. But not long gone in the first. shooting from Robin Love we go to a timeout with the score Argentina nil Great Britain 13 let's have a listen to what Miles Thompson's saying here Carlos Cardell has had his, his say Eliminate the dribbles and move the ball with the pass, was what he said. Great Britain can be so effective when they do exactly that, especially against the, the bigger teams in the competition. The Germany, Canada, the Dutch, that's where Great Britain are so useful. They can pass the ball, they're a, they're a quick team. Sometimes their shooting can let them down. Love. Evans go out of play and Argentina will inbound once more. Linari spins away up court. Evans back into the defence for Great Britain. Captavia finds Polares. There is one way, then the other. Freeman out to close her route to the basket off. Captavia. The shot went up. It didn't go down on that occasion, and it remains 13 0 after 4.20, with 4.23 to go in the first. Evans knocked by Captavia. Quickly picked up by Laurie Williams, the number eight for Great Britain. Two and a half point player. Plays for Angels of the North in the Women's League in Great Britain. Freeman puts the shot up. Griffiths out, rebounded by Polares. The Argentinians can burst down court once more with Polares. She started playing at Badit Tucumán at 22 years of age, three years ago. Lovely pass. And Argentina have their first basket and they celebrate. Maria Coronel. Great Britain's defences were not good enough there. Born in. Rosario Santa Fe Coronel. The moment she'll remember for the rest of her life. Getting the basket against Great Britain in the Paralympic Games. Robin Love into Freeman. Freeman jiggles around, puts the shot up. It's good for two. The referee gave her a long old time on the shot there. That really was held for a long time. The basket's good and it's gone against 13. Mariana Perez. Well. The Argentinians shake their head. And Freeman, she was shaping for the shot, which would have given her two free throws anyway. 
The referee gave her a very long time to get the shot away. She goes to the line for one extra. 15 to the score. Freeman fails to make the free throw and make it a three point play. Good start though from Great Britain. Freeman out to 11 points for the game so far. Polares. Coronel limited. Polares gets the shot away. Love with the offensive, uh, defensive rebound. Jude Hamer into the game for the first time. A player who has struggled for form in the run up into this competition, but a player who can set the world alight when she's on form. Been a member of the Great Britain team for a long time now and a strong junior player as well. The offensive foul given though. It was against Hamer, her first personal foul of the game. Helen Freeman given a rest. She finished. The 2014 World Championships as the third top scorer in Toronto. And she'll be looking for equally good figures, if not better, here at the 2016 Paralympic Games. 15 to the score. Polares. Great Britain have dropped off on their defence now to save some of the arms. Carragill. Ball spun out to the number 10. Captavia, Captavia finds a pass to Polares. That one won't go and it'll find Robin Love with yet another defensive rebound. She finds Griffiths who turns. Griffiths a one and a half point player. Conroy to Hamer. Hamer shoots, doesn't get anything that time. Each team of course allowed a maximum of 14 points on court and that is broken down amongst the five individual players on court, the minimum points that any player will be classified as is a one point player which means they're the most severe impairment in the game for example number five currently on court for Great Britain Sophie Carrigal is a one point player Griffiths who just knocked the ball off court the number six is a one and a half point player so those who only take up two and a half points of this team's total which means they can put three bigger pointed players on court as they have here a four point player in Hamer and Conroy Robin Love, who's a three and a half point player. So Great Britain running three bigger players and two low pointers. Love running the play for Great Britain now. Hamer and Conroy ahead of them, causing problems for the Argentinians. There is Conroy. Gets hit on the head as she looked to shoot. She'll get two shots as she was shaping to shoot. The Norwich native from an area called East Anglia in Great Britain. In the eastern side of the British Isles. 15-2, 1.32 left in the quarter. Conroy for two. Great Britain's team statistics. 17% from free throws. Got a rise slightly with that shot. But still, not at the level that they would be aiming for. London 2012. This Great Britain team went in on home soil with high hopes, but they were an incredibly young team then. Now, the excuses. With that one Paralympic Games as a set up under their belts are no longer there. They're here to do the business, and Hamer fading away for two on the edge of the key, and she needs baskets like this, Jude Hamer, to boost her confidence. 18 to the score. Great Britain leading comfortably. Almeida, Julieta Almeida. Hitting 11% so far for the competition, Almeida. A shot from the number 10, Captavia. Mariana Captavia, a four and a half point player. And once more, it's Conroy and Love coming down court. Hamer comes in support. It goes to Hamer. She was hard in her shot and unable to put the ball away. Polaris. Finds Captavia. Captavia who takes her time. Captavia, mum of two. That will go Great Britain's way. 22.1 seconds left in the first.
Conroy weaving Griffiths acting as pivot for her team over to Love who waits and looks such an improved player Robin Love she steps up for this team at important times she's made an impact and at the end of the first quarter it's Argentina 2 Great Britain 20 there are the game statistics 20 points to 2 to Great Britain 56% well it's good not perfect though at the moment 9 from 16 just 9% from the Argentinians surprisingly though they've had 11 shots 29% of free throws for Great Britain that needs to rise 4 steals to 2 Great Britain lead the weight defensive rebounds 8 to 6 and they've turned over the ball 4 times to 8 for Argentina and here are the highlights of that first quarter the story of the first quarter was that Great Britain comfortably leading the way here Almeida starts the second quarter for the Argentinians Argentina 2 Great Britain 20 this is the team that finished fifth in the world in the 2014 World Championships Seventh at London 2012, Great Britain, a team very much on the rise. They came in here with hopes of a medal against Argentina. Fourth in the Parapan Games of 2015, qualifying alongside USA, Canada and Brazil from that region. Picking up the spot that, of course, Brazil vacated as hosts. And they'll enjoy the experience of the Paralympic Games. More about exposure for Argentinian wheelchair basketball and attracting people in the South American country to the game. Griffiths and Love exchanging passes. Love can't put the basket away on that occasion. She's had an impressive start, though. Robin Love, four points of the game so far. up the ball and captivate here is Coronel the only scorer of a basket and there goes the shot clock each team have 24 seconds per plate when they start from their own defensive half to get a shot away it has to hit the rim and it has to be out of the hand before the buzzer goes there are times where the shot could be mid-air Great Britain are going to ring the changes here it looks like Freeman Morrow Carragill and Bartlett come in. Conroy goes off. Love, Hamer. Sorry, it's Moore in and Carragill out. Griffiths remains on court from that original five that started this quarter. Katie Morrow, the only Northern Irish player in this Great Britain wheelchair basketball team. quite get the basket to go that time Morrow four and a half point player originates from County Antrim and the 16 year old playing on the biggest stage at such a young age Gets one from two, 21-12 the score. Intensity needs to remain from Great Britain if they want this to be a 
truly useful game for them. For Argentina, they are doing everything they can. Captavia. Olmedo. Olmedo may get this back. No, she doesn't. Griffith snatches it off her and Freeman can come down court. Morrow underneath the basket. Good play from the forward and sinks the two as well. And this is important game time for the likes of Katie Morrow. Three points into the game. The foul called on the play as well. It goes the way of the Argentinians. Inbound ball by Julieta Olmedo. Captavia doing the ball handling for the Argentinians at the moment. It was Jordi Bartlett the foul went against. One-handed pass, cross court. Here's Olmedo, it bounces around and Griffiths under the basket with the defensive rebound. Morrow can come away to Freeman. In fact, it was Bartlett to Freeman. Morrow ahead of the game. Freeman off the fingers of Freeman and out of play. And she's confused by the call. Moore gets her fingertips to the ball. Perez does her utmost to keep the ball alive. She didn't need to do so. Argentina would have had possession there anyway. Shot from Almeida off the glass. It falls kindly for Jordana Bartlett. Griffiths off the glass. Doesn't go. Perez. Almeida. Olmedo, in and out it went. Morrow down court all on her own. Lovely layup from Katie Morrow. What a calm, collected player. She was introduced to wheelchair basketball back in 2013. And she's come on here and hit five points for the British girls when no one else is even threatening the basket in a game which they should be hitting oodles of points. Captavia moved it to Coronel, back to Captavia once more. Up it goes, in and out, the one-handed. Speculative, the technique not quite there from Captavia, and the entry to the basket was rejected on that occasion. Freeman. Five forty-two left to go in the first half. Argentina two, Great Britain twenty-five. And the coach of Argentina, Carlos Cardarelli, looks a little stressed at the moment. Timeout called. Twenty-three points the difference. Five forty-two left to go in the second quarter. Back from the timeout, we come. Morrow to continue under the basket, but she can't get the 
shot to go that time. The shot clock will remain on 11 seconds as the shot did not hit the ring. It has to hit the ring. You'll see here Moreau shooting over the top of the ring. Well, technically that may have glanced the ring but wasn't given. Freeman. Freeman rather audacious in her efforts. Perez for Argentina. The number 13 who in her career outside of Paralympic sport is a, is a vet. Morrow. Lovely shooting from her. She really is stepping up to the plate here when Great Britain not actually going through a great passage of play. And again, they should be dominating, and they are dominating. 25 points clear hit in the first half, but it's taking Katie Morrow, the Northern Irish youngster, and she's in there again. Oh, brilliant stuff from Morrow, and this is really fantastic to see from such a young player, support from the bench. And she steals in and gets the basket, and Morrow Nine points now for the game. Jordy Bartlett up at the top right hand corner of the shot. Morrow gets the ball once more, puts the shot up. It doesn't go. The whistle has gone though. And I think it's likely she'll have a baseline ball. It was the number 11, Juliette, Julieta Olmedo, the two point player. Spinal cord injury from a, a gunshot wound of all things. Bartlett with the shot, nothing there that time for Great Britain and Coronel, the only player to get on the scoreboard for Argentina so far today, Freeman dances. Oh, it doesn't quite go for Griffiths on that occasion, but the whistle has gone and Claire Griffiths, the 36-year-old who hails from High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire, originally. As a Loughborough University student, she'll go to the line for two shots. Loughborough University, one of the main sports universities, well, in the world, but if not the world, in Great Britain. Just two points for Griffiths so far in the competition. And neither of those two successful on that occasion. Freeman picks up the pieces from the rebound. Morrow misses everything. A player that wasn't even born when Claire Griffiths made her international debut back in 1998. Katie Morrow, born two years later. Griffiths tries to steal from Perez. Charlotte Moore watches on on the bench. Captavia goes off court and that means the ball will turn over. With 3.57 left in the half. 27 points the difference. Off goes Bartlett, off goes Griffiths. Hazelden waits to come on. Morrow can take a break after a great impact from her. Conroy returns to the action. And Freeman waits to inbound the ball. Freeman looks ahead. What options has she got? Carrigal trying to get her way through the key. Only allowed to stay inside the key for three seconds. Great Britain struggling to get players in and out the paint quick enough to offer options. Amy Conroy can be so good from that sort of range. The difficulty with that sort of range is the risk level does increase. As you're further from the basket, the basket in wheelchair basketball, both the men's and women's game, 10 feet, exactly the same as in able-bodied basketball. Five players on court, 14 points, the team total across the classification allowed. Conroy fouled, the shot doesn't go. She's a four-point player, Amy Conroy, above the knee amputee. If it was a below-the-knee amputation, she'd be a four-and-a-half-pointer, but the above-the-knee increases her classification and, and therefore reduces the number of points she takes up for the team. Four-pointer. When he takes up four of the 14. Here's free throw, number three for Conroy. 
makes two from three. 32-2 now. Great Britain lead the way. Doesn't get a second. Polares picks up the rebound for Argentina. Almeida. Captavia. Captavia with Polares getting ahead of her. Polares does well and orchestrates the shot for herself and it goes 32-4, a roar of approval from the arena. And Polares. Nine points for the tournament for her. Joy Hazelden under the basket, doesn't get the two. And this is where Great Britain really need to be self-critical. They need to be hitting so many more of their shots than are going at the moment. A team that are based in centralised training base at the moment. Captavia with another two for Argentina, Great Britain. Despite the 32-6 scoreline, not having their greatest game. Williams under the basket. Back out it comes again. A simple layup. And the layup that really should be going for Great Britain at the moment. They don't look like a team with masses of confidence currently. Captavia. Great Britain leave that. They don't. It would have gone out of play. Carragill, Hazelden. Racing forwards, Freeman and Williams ahead of the play. Freeman sets up the screen against Captavia. Conroy in underneath the basket, the former under-25 Great Britain player. Made for international debut. Back in 2010, the Paralympic World Cup, which is a competition for those of you unaware, which is different from both the Paralympics, or was different from both the Paralympics and the World Championships. It's a specific competition called the Paralympic World Cup. 1.32 left to go in the half, 32-6 the score. Well, there's a great crowd in for such an early start. The Dutch are here in force. Amy Conroy's family, Team Amy. The Great Britain number 10. A picture of Conroy on their chest and we return to Conroy on the court. Nothing from the first free throw for Conroy on this attempt. She'll have a second. 1.32 left to go in the half. Nothing again. 32-6 the score. Argentina and Captavia bring the ball away. Missing everything. A simple restart for Great Britain. Williams will be the player to do so. Two and a half point player. Laurie Williams was spotted at a, at a wheelchair racing event back in 2005 and went on to make her Great Britain debut in 2009. Conroy juggles and Captavia was there in front of her. Mariana Captavia has had a good game for her team today. Olmedo. Not to Polares, Polares wheels to the right-hand side, Freeman goes over to force the issue and Carragill's there, the co-captain. In fact, the two co-captains working in tam tandem before Hazelden tries to get her arm in the way. And Williams comes away with the defensive rebound and a three-on-two here now, a th four-on-three. Hazelden off the glass, doesn't go, well caught by Freeman. It goes for her eventually, her first points in a while. 
Freeman with the offensive rebound. And then the two, 34-6 are scored out. Great Britain just two points away from equaling their highest points total of the competition. And bearing in mind, normally they would expect to score at least 50 per game. It tells you how their shooting has been in this competition. They'll definitely hit 50 today, and well, they should do. Seven seconds left in the quarter. Seven seconds left in the half. Hazelden, Argentina really hassling and harrying. Freeman dances into the paint. Finds Conroy, doesn't find the basket at the buzzer. And at the end of the second quarter, we go into half time. Great Britain is comprehensive at the moment, but Argentina are putting up a fight. The score, Great Britain 34, Argentina 6. So the story of that first half, 34-6, the score, Great Britain leading the way, only hitting 45% of their field goals, which they will want to improve on Argentina, three from 20 from the field. 45% of the two pointers, no three pointers for Great Britain so far, and just 27% from the free throw line. Well, that really is not up to the standard they set themselves. 12 steals though for Great Britain as they put the pressure on the Argentinians, and points from turnovers, 20 from 34 for Great Britain. Their defence is working well. 15th defensive rebounds as well. It's a big lead for Great Britain at the moment. The British fans are in in force and they're enjoying the occasion, making a holiday to see their families. It's a great time. The locals loving it too. At half time though, it's Argentina 6, Great Britain 34.
What a Great Britain team there, just warming up again for the second half. The first half, almost a difficult match for Great Britain in that it was so one-sided. It's what they can get from it for the rest of their tournament, which can be, it can be difficult to set your goals. Argentina know what their goal is. It's to score as many points as they can, to limit Great Britain as much as possible, to move the ball as much as possible and to gain all this international experience that they can get from the 2016 Paralympic Games. Helen Freeman, 13 points so far for the match. Be hoping for more, but a, a strong performance from her. One of Great Britain's standout players. Montura we've, we've not really seen in action so far. The main players for the Argentinians, Polares, Olmedo, Captavilla, Lunari, who I was expecting to play, hasn't done much. Great Britain's Claire Griffiths there. No points so far for the 36-year-old. Later international debut at 19 years of age after a horse riding accident at 18 years of age back in 1997. There is Julieta Olmedo. Olmedo who started wheelchair basketball just three years ago at Club Union. Electrica Cordoba. Hazelden gets the second half underway for Great Britain. 28 points the difference at the moment. Hazelden off the glass and comes down. And the Argentinians can come away with Olmedo. Polares. Polares just steadies herself. Again, the Great Britain defence works well. Laurie Williams blocking the way of the Argentinian ball carrier. Once more she comes out, it's spun over and there goes the shot clock. Almeida had no time, the guard, 26 years of age, had no chance to get a shot away. Strong defence to start the second half from Great Britain. Robin Love waits to inbound the ball for her team. Started her journey here to Rio at Edinburgh Napier University. We're going to restart the play with Hazelden. Something tickling the Argentinian ben bench. Mariana Perez having a good old laugh in the background. Evans, Hazelden, Bartlett doesn't go that time Great Britain really running the bench at the start of this half and great for Miles Thompson to be able to bring on the young players and there is Evans she started so well and she comes in off the offensive rebound from Hazelden to bucket the two 36-6 now incredibly young starting five in this second half though as the eight second violation goes Number eight, Laurie Williams is 24, Hazelden 17, Love 26, the oldest player on court currently for Great Britain. Here Evans, just 19 years of age, and Bartlett, 13, who had the ball there, 21. Incredibly young, this Great Britain side. Exciting times for Great Britain wheelchair basketball. Evans goes across and collects. Spins the ball to Bartlett, who catches height. Hazelden shoots and Hazelden buckets the two herself. 
Well played, Joy Hazelden. Originates from the south coast of England, Southampton. Polaris isolated with love for company. 38-6 the score. Polaris one-handed, nothing there. And that really speaks volumes of the Great Britain defence again there. Keeping Polaris out and she runs out of ideas and launches the shot. You'll see Great Britain tend to get closer and go for genuine point scoring opportunities. Hazelden finds Williams. Williams drops it in off the glass. This is better from Great Britain. Laurie Williams playing herself into some form. A player who, coming through the international game, came into the squad with such high expectations and that terrible word, potential. Not quite lived up to that potential on the world stage so far, but do not get me wrong, there is no reason why she can't develop further. I had the card marked for Laurie Williams a long time ago as one of those players that really could become one of the well, greats in her position. Still developing into the game, Williams. And time will tell whether she reaches those lofty heights. In comes Linari once more for Argentina. Polares. Maria Fernanda Polares to give her her full title. Four point player makes the first. Well played, Polaris. Yes, it's a close skill. The free throw. <coughs> Nothing outside of your technique and yourself can affect you. No opponent can get in the way. 40 points to seven, Great Britain lead. Robin Love. Only Scottish player on this Great Britain team. Hazelden. Bartlett. Bartlett gets the two. Well played. Jordana Bartlett. Number 13, 21 years of age. At Sheffield Steelers player. From the city across the Pennines. In the north of England. Evans. 42-7 Great Britain. Hazelden unopposed, picks up another two. Joy Hazelden is enjoying herself here. Helen Freeman, the co-captain, shows her appreciation. Four points now to Hazelden. Timeout called. Argentina seven, Great Britain 44. Great Britain turning the screw with a young starting five in this second half. coaches have their say just the one point added to Argentina's total so far in this half eight points to one ten points to one the run so far in the third quarter a long way to go though in the third 6-11 left on the clock Denari Polaris up it goes and doesn't drop for on that occasion the highlight of her career making the Paralympic Games 2016 Leah Evans for the First time in Paralympic action herself. Couldn't put the ball away that time, Evans. An impressive start for her today. The 19-year-old, another Sheffield Steeler, alongside Jordana Bartlett, the number 13. 
Steelers are a very proud British club. Lenari. Sylvia Beatrice Lenari. International debuts at Guadalajara in 2011 against El Salvador. Robin Love. Intensity has just dropped out of the game at the moment. And Great Britain and Williams looking to do something about that. Hazelden in under the basket for two off the glass. And the free throw coming as well. Joy Hazelden really is an ice cool character. The foul was against Olmedo. Her fourth foul of the game. So just one more and she will have to exit the action. Hazelden nothing there from the third. She remains on six points for the game. Miles Thompson, one of the nice guys of wheelchair basketball, a real gentleman. He's entered the Great Britain program not too long ago. He's had an impact in his manner and his relaxed nature. Expects high standards from his team. Polaris. Linari. Linari very much playing the pivot role today. Olmedo, one handed, speculative shot, misses everything again as the shot clock was down to a second, but the ball had gone out of play before the buzzer would sound. Substitutions, Carrigal and Freeman back in. 12-1. Great Britain's run in this third quarter and still a long way to go in the third as well. Freeman and Carrigal back on to run another lineup for Great Britain and try and get these players into form. The Argentinians make the changes as well. Olmedo and Lunari exit. Williams and, and uh, Carrigal, sorry, Hazelden were the players to make way. Freeman. Surprises Evans, finds Love on the angle on the right-hand side. It pings around and comes out again, and there will be two shots for Robin Love. She will go to the line, shooting two. Four thirty-six left in the third. Great Britain, well on their way here. Four points for Love for the game so far. That will stay the same at the moment. The foul was against the number 13. That's Mariana Perez. Love can make one of two. 50% from the line on that occasion for Robin Love. Takes her up to five points personal for the game. She's currently hitting 50% of her two-point efforts and 50% of her free throws also. Freeman has the ball. Evans tips, gets the basket. And the one extra shot will come as well. And Leah Evans is enjoying herself out here today. Oh, look at the focus on her face. She knew she was going to fall over. But her sole focus, and that's the sign of a good player, was purely on scoring the basket. Doesn't quite add the second. Love can't either, and Freeman can't grab the offensive rebound as Love had so efficiently in the first place. Perez. Perez shoots. Flips the ring. Down it comes. Polares. One way and the other. Freeman trying to keep her at range. Into the paint the Argentinian goes. The shot up from Captavi. And Carragill. The northern originating player for Great Britain from Wakefield, Carrigal, and it's Evans once more. And Hazelden and Evans have been the outstanding players of the half so far. The teenagers are doing their stuff for Great Britain. The score now 51-7. And it's the teenagers leading by example at the moment. Players that don't always start matches for Great Britain, such as Leah Evans, staking a claim here. Up to Veer. Nothing there that time. Carrigal. 
and Freeman, the two captains of this British team. Freeman, who was the youngest player of the British side at the Beijing Paralympics, and she's going to pick up some more points here. She doesn't on that occasion. She doesn't actually on that play. I spoke too soon. Commentators curse. Freeman back into her chair. The game stopped to allow her safely to... We jig her chair into the upright position and Williams returns to the action. A player who was present at London 2012, her second Paralympic Games. Freeman thinks about the long two, thinks for a long time and it doesn't sink on that occasion. So often the case when players have too long on a shot, they almost snatch the shot and gets rejected. Olme, uh, Captivate off the side of the glass backboard. Now to play, it goes 20, 2 minutes 26, 24 left on the game. In the third, 51-7, Great Britain lead the way. Cries of let's go GB, let's go. The intensity really has fallen out of this match, partly due to Great Britain's start 17-1 run in the third quarter. I was critical of G GB in the first half. And I believe as a team who have medal aspirations here as one of the top five teams in the world, being constructively critical, they will be doing, being so to themselves anyway. They have to have high standards and they've come out here and answered those in the second half with 17-1. The score as Salcedo exits the game. Freeman. Looking to add to her 13. Her free throws haven't been quite where she'd expect them or quite where statistics suggest they'd normally be. She gets the second of two. Well played, Helen Freeman. Such an influential player when she gets it right. She exits the game for a breather. Originates from the west of London, the capital city of Great Britain, an area called Watford. Coronel scored the first basket for Argentina. Can't make it nine for her team. Williams, Bartlett. Sinks the two from outside, and that's strong shooting from Jordana Bartlett. Played in the 2011 Great Britain under-25 team as they won bronze at the first ever under-25 Women's World Championships in Canada. And then continued on to gold in 2015 in China as the Great Britain under-25 team proved how good they are winning gold in Beijing. Olmedo, Argentina, seeking their second basket of the half, 54-7. Perez goes in search, it goes the Argentinians' way and the shot clock, as you see there, on the right hand left of our shot, six seconds left, 108 left in the third. Polares to Coronel, Polares inside the three-point line, so it would have counted for two, but it didn't go, Conroy. Comes away slowly, plays for a team called the Vixens in the British Women's League. But recently crowned Women's League champions, the Vixens, for the first time. Robin Love will go to the line for two. Argentina. In foul trouble, which is what sends Love to the line without being in the action of shooting. She misses the first one, 51.1 seconds left in the third. Since the team gets over five fouls for the quarter and Argentina have six. The opposition will always go to the line if you foul them. Miles Thompson, well, I wonder what's going through his head today. This is an unusual game for his team. 
said, it's hard to set goals in games like this, but Great Britain have come out in the third quarter. 21-1 they've run. They were 20-2 in the first, the second quarter, 14-4, but the second quarter really wasn't up to their standard. 14 points for Freeman Morrow, who was the star of the second quarter with nine points. Williams, Conroy, she needs to find some form. Amy Conroy can't on that occasion. She can be a player that can tear teams apart when she's on form. Struggles sometimes with nerves, no reason to, Amy Conroy. She's a big, imposing player and she's got an um, imposing shot when it's hitting its range. Oh, and it just doesn't on that occasion. A player who can bully the biggest players in the game. Well, free throws go alright on that occasion. 55-7. We're into the last 35 seconds of the third quarter. Captavia. Polares with the two. And that's three points for the quarter for the Argentinians. They've bettered the total they scored in the first quarter. Averaging three points a quarter here, Argentina. Unusual for wheelchair basketball. A bit of a mismatch, this one. As the game of wheelchair basketball grow, there always, there grows, there always will be slight mismatches. The score at the end of the third. Argentina nine. Great Britain imposed themselves in that one. 55. And there are the statistics, 55-9 the score. Great Britain's shot percentage still below 50% and that will no doubt be one of their aims for the fourth quarter to raise that. Coming out of this game, 13% for the Argentinians of 32 shots taken. They've only scored four. Now, reading the lips of Miles Thompson, he said better, better as the Great Britain team came to the bench. And I think he'll be aiming for at least 80 points away from this match against Argentina. fans have been vocal today Argentina with a strong support here in South America Fourth quarter underway, Argentina in the white with the ball. Nine points their total so far. Great Britain may have an aim to keep them below double figures. Can they achieve that? Well, Polares is in, misses the first basket. This really depends how ruthless Great Britain want to be in this fourth quarter. I'd imagine they'd aim to hit 80. I'd imagine they would aim to keep Argentina down to single figures. But equally, Great Britain, as they look towards the rest of the competition, Robin Love with the outside two. We'll be looking at the performance, and it's at times been sketchy today, at times been good. In a game that's difficult for them to get much more than the win out of. In this match, in these two teams is always going to happen to some degree. As the game of wheelchair basketball grows, certain teams have to step up to the plate when they never have before, and that's what Argentina are doing here. Fourth at the Parapan Games in Toronto 2015. 
Conroy and Love come down court. Conroy goes herself, and that's good to see, and a good basket for Amy Conroy. This girl needs confidence for Great Britain, and that's the sort of stuff Miles Thompson will be hoping to see more of during the competition from Conroy, backing herself, taking the lane, and putting the two up from the layup. Almeida. Conroy to Love. Love can't make the basket count on that occasion, but she had the whistle on the plate. Robin Love, one of the most improved players of this generation of Great Britain team. One of the newest team players into the team as well. But a player not scared to make a name for herself. Jude Hamer returns. Originates from the southwest of England, Exeter. Love gets the two. Conroy and Bartlett offer their congratulations. And Love makes two from two. Paralympian on the left. Louise Sugden appeared at London 2012. In fact, she was co-captain of the Great Britain team alongside Claire Griffiths. Polares, 61-9 the score. Polares waits, puts the shot up and sinks the two. And if it was an aim of Great Britain to keep Argentina down to single figures, well, they have not achieved it here. Morrow and Griffiths return to the action. Morrow puts the shot up. The whistle had gone on the play. It'll be two shots for the Northern Irish youngster. Gaining experience in this game. Every second she plays so important at such a young age senior debut in 2015 at the continental clash in great britain she lines up her first and katie morrow is enjoying herself double figures now for the 16 year old can't quite grab the second captain via comes away Griffiths blocking Captavia in the paint. Captavia once more gets the ball from Coronel, puts the shot up. Morrow's there with the defensive rebound. Hamer over on the far side looking to get into the paint, but Morrow goes herself. The whistle goes. She puts the shot up. It won't count. Worth a try, though, because Freeman had one of those earlier, and it was counted. It won't count. It was against number 13. That's Perez of Argentina. It's her fifth foul personal of the match. So Perez will have to leave the action. And this could affect the lineup that the Argentinians run in. They bring Chirinos in for the first time. A like for like one pointer for one pointer. Perez 26, Chirinos 25. Hamer needs this basket. Jude Hamer for her confidence and gets it. Great to see the youngsters in, great to see the school kids. They'll never forget days like this at the Paralympic Games. Jude Hamer will go to the line for the extra shot. And the 25-year-old. We go to a timeout, we'll come back with an extra shot. Her first points of the Paralympic Games 2016. The current score, Argentina 11, Great Britain 64.
It's the wheelchair basketball at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. It's the women's Group A preliminaries. Hamer returns to the action for the extra shot. And she sinks it. Five points of the game for Hamer. Five points for the competition for Hamer. 65-11. Great Britain in the red, leading the way. Cochonel looking for her second basket of the day. Hamer has the opportunity to make it seven. The layup off the glass doesn't go. Hamer needs these. She needs to play herself into form because doing so Adds another dimension to the Great Britain team. With her in form, if Conroy's not firing or Freeman's not firing, they can go to Hamer, a player with a lot of experience. Lovely one-handed shot for Captavia. Four and a half point player, 35-year-old from Santa Fe. Plays for club Kilsa BSS. Made her debut back in the 2011 Parapans. And once more, we go to a timeout with the score. Argentina 13, Great Britain 65. Griffiths. In and out from her. Huge golf in the quality of these two sides. Coronel. Captavia with the basket. Argentina up to 15 and Great Britain. Defence just slipping away slightly. Brazil only allowed Argentina 19 points in the third, fourth playoff at the 2015 Parapan Championships in Toronto. In the bronze medal match, 49-19 was the score there as both teams made their way to Rio, although, of course, Brazil as hosts had that spot already. Sixty-seven, fifteen. Moro up to twelve points now with the last basket. Now Captavi, six points personal for the match, and it goes to Polares. Polares spins, puts the shot up. It doesn't fall for and Griffiths can hold on to the ball for Great Britain and just compose herself. All carrying. Hamer into the paint, Morrow into the paint. That's better from Great Britain and better from Hamer. She's a powerful player, Jude Hamer. Seven points personal for the match. And that link up between Griffiths and Hamer, they know each other very well indeed. But Hamer claims in her 
Biographical information that Griffiths is one of the bigger influences on her game. Important times in the competition for Jude Hamer, the player on screen there. As we go to a timeout, Argentina 15, Great Britain 69. 4.16 left in this one at the Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. Coromel inbounds, the captain of Argentina, Polares, shot up and shot down for her. And when she shoots with a proper technique, i.e. not one-handed, she's got a good shot on her, Polares. Sadly for her, she's been too rushed in her shot a lot of times today. She's up to nine points for the game. Great Britain add another two. Hamer once more, 71-17, now nine points of the game for Jude Hamer. Confidence boosting from her, if she can get to double points. Double figures in this one. It will help her going into future games here in Rio. Morrow with Bartlett ahead of her, Hamer on the right-hand side. Here's Bartlett Morrow, lovely interplay by Great Britain and the basket for Katie Morrow, who is growing and growing into this competition. I cannot reiterate enough how important it is for youngsters like Morrow to be taking layups like that at the Paralympic Games. It doesn't matter who the opponents are. It'll improve her exposure at this level going into Bigger games in the competition for Great Britain. 14 points for Morrow now, and she comes down court once more, finds Hamer. Can Hamer go to double figures? Yes, she can. 75-17. The heavily tattooed Hamer heads off of court. And that's good to see. Hamer now 11 points for the match. Kissing the glass for two. We're at another timeout. Argentina 17, Great Britain 75. Carlos Cardarelli trying to work on the plays for his team to keep the score down here. He'll have the 80 point barrier in mind. Makes no difference to his team with regards points achieved or anything like that. It's purely a psychological barrier, keeping the points total down. 17.75. Sophie Carrigal, an excellent captain for Great Britain, an excellent ambassador for Great Britain. A very level head. And 22 year old shoulders. Captivate. One handed. Doesn't go that time. And Hamer, the ball just ran away from her off the wooden floor. Polares. Oh, a lovely spin. And Captivate once more, but couldn't put the basket away. Bartlett to Morrow, Morrow to Griffiths. And she still can't get off the mark for points today, Claire Griffiths. Hamer though, up to 13, and she'll have the extra points as well. 
Griffiths in the competition, just the two points so far. Heyman out, out to 13 points personal for the match. And she'll have a chance to make it 14. Nothing there on that occasion, and Captavia can grab the defensive rebound. Captavia, Great Britain just keeping her at bay outside the paint. Polares, we know she can shoot if she gets the chance. Up and down it goes for her. Polares proving. How threatening she can be. 19 points now for Argentina. Freeman, Morrow. The two leading scorers for Great Britain on 14 apiece. Polaris 11. And down it goes once more. Katie Morrow out to 16 personal now. Leading all scorers in the game. 16 points for 16 years of her life for Katie Morrow. Captavia. Slightly predictable in her actions. The whistle goes as looks like Coromel is on her side. Maria Constanza Coronel, two point player, born in Rosario Santa Fe. Married with one son and studied at the Universidad Nacional de Rosario. Fluent Spanish and English speaker, Coronel, who's now. Upright. There she is. Sixty points the difference. Hamer can't claim the rebound, but goes off the head of Salcedo and out of play. Griffiths inbounds. Carrigill. Griffiths turns out, spins back towards the paint. Lovely pass to Hamer. Hamer back to Griffiths. Six seconds on the shot clock. They need to do something here. Morrow drops it into Bartlett's lap. She gets the shot away, and she did well to get anything away at all there. Geordie Bartlett credits where credit where it's due to the 21-year-old. Senior debut came in 2012 for Geordie Bartlett. Captavia once more just going one way then the other at the top of the paint. Shot went up from Coronel. And the whistle went on the plate. Mars Thompson barking orders from the bench. Coronel waits. Nine years playing the sport of wheelchair basketball and Argentina have gone to 20. <laughs> 11 points for the quarter for Argentina. They were averaging three points a quarter before this one. 24-11 the score. Great Britain's biggest points total in a quarter. As we head in towards the end of the game, Griffiths holds on to the ball for her team and there's the final score Great Britain don't make 80 but they have a comfortable victory Miles Thompson has a lot to think about will he be scratching his head Griffiths knows that the team got the victory but they're not in the best form here in Rio Great Britain are here to get some sort of medal if they can this team and now Young but experienced, they're expecting a lot. Cardarelli, the coach of Argentina, will be proud of his team. They hit 20. The final score, Great Britain 79, Argentina 20. Great Britain get their first win of the competition.
the crowd have been excellent here today fantastic to see so many seats full in the karaoke one arena the argentinians strongly supported but equally british fans you can see the union flag flying there even the youngsters have come in from great britain a 12 hour flight with a little baby it's a long time Salcedo being supported from the Carioca One Arena. And Jude Hamer bounced back well in that match and will look to take it into the rest of the competition. Hamer, the number nine, hitting 13 points. Well, for Great Britain, 52% of shots achieved in the end and there's confirmation of the result group a women's wheelchair basketball the rio 2016 paralympic games argentina 20 great britain 79 they only hit 35 percent of their free throws great britain need to improve that for argentina they'll be pleased to have scraped together 20 points 19 percent of shots were successful for them polares led the way for the argentinians captavia adding in six Morrow the 16 year old for Great Britain with 16 points Freeman ably deputizing 15 steals for Great Britain 13 offensive rebounds 36 defensive rebounds 28 for the Argentinians 25 turnovers from Argentina seven for Great Britain is relatively high in this quality of match and Great Britain well I think they slightly underscored that by their standards, 24 points in the final quarter was the highest total they managed 